Let's take a look at the mole ratios for the equation Na plus Cl2 gives us NaCl. So the first thing we do when we're looking at mole ratios, we need to balance the equation. It's like if I put a two here and a two here, that's balanced the equation. And it's not written, but there's a one right here. And these coefficients, they're what's gonna give us the ratio. Right now we have a two to one to two ratio. We get that from the balanced equation. So here's a way we can use that mole ratio. Say we have 1.3 moles of Cl2. It's just a number I made up. How many moles of NaCl would be produced when this Na reacted with the Cl2 to give us NaCl? And we'd say that we have excess sodium here, so we don't need to worry about that. There's a few ways you could look at it. The ratio is one to two, so we've doubled this number. So we could just double 1.3 moles we'd end up with 2.6 moles of NaCl. And that's the correct answer, that works. The other way is you could just set up a ratio like this. 1.3 is to one is X is to two. Cross multiply, we get X equals 2.6 moles, just like we did before. That's another way you could do this. And finally, your teacher probably wants you to use conversion factors to look at the mole ratio for NaCl2 and NaCl. So we start out with our 1.3 moles of Cl2, and we're gonna multiply that by a conversion factor. And that's just the mole ratio. So we have chlorine on the top here, and we have chlorine on the bottom. So that's why we have the chlorine down here, because when we multiply and divide, this will cancel out. We're left with moles of NaCl. That's what we're looking for. So 1.3 times two moles of NaCl, that gives us 2.6 moles of NaCl, and that's what we found with the other two methods. So you can just look at the coefficients and see if one doubles or gets cut in half. You can do that. You can set up ratios like this, or you can use conversion factors. Teachers like this because when you cross things out, when you cross the units out, you know that you did it correctly because you end up with the right units. This is Dr. B looking at the mole ratio of Na to Cl to NaCl. Thanks for watching.